Some great conversations so far. Now wrapping up Casper Hour is Casper Association's Director of Communications, Joe Benso, along with special guest, digital NFT artist, Dario Desenio. Hey, Dario. Hi, Joe. Hi, how are you doing? Doing great. Yeah. Thank you. So you have been very active and uh, have an interesting story of how you got into NFTs. I'm coming from the traditional art space and also like graphing design scene, uh, which is also my uh, daily business. I work 60% as graphic designer. Yeah, so I, I got into NFTs before, like it was end of February this year. What was the first thing? Like what, what was your first exposure to NFT? When you heard NFT, Where, where what was that? My, my friend coming to me, um, Florian, he's working in my office. And he told me, your art is uh, amazing. Why you don't do NFTs? And yeah, my question was like, like every question from, from everyone who starts, what is an NFT? Right. So that was the first, first insight. And uh -huh. then I go like researching a bit on, on YouTube or on like just on Google and there was limited of information at this point. So really less uh, video tutorials, whatever, like how you do it. Um, I think I, the first I hear about it was about ferocious. Mm -hmm. So, um, saw his work and saw that, like, I think what was selling for, like maybe that he sold a piece for for around 30k mm -hmm. at this point mm -hmm. and i was impressed because i really i liked the art and also was going a little bit deeper on the story of him mm -hmm. and yeah really really a nice guy and also yeah that that it works out for him so it's for me it makes sense he's an artist i'm an artist mm -hmm. um we are it's, it's something new and just try it out and see what's happening that's what that was like the first idea yeah just curious what you know what inspires you in in the space if, if it's artists if it's the tech if it's the money <laughs> <laughs> the money is something which which helps you to to reach your goals yeah. in life yeah. so that's something everyone um looks up for but for me i think one of the biggest inspiration is the community itself mm -hmm. because i was in many different communities in my life <clears throat> starting from punks community mm -hmm. like in really early days yeah going to graffiti scene mm -hmm. and like electronic music scene mm -hmm. they are great that's a really it's it's a, it's a nice and close community mm -hmm. the community here is giving really much because they are mo mostly on the positive side um helping caring about each other mm -hmm. um try to build this new space together um yeah and that's that's really inspiring me and it was also motivating me to to keep on going and yeah it's really different to the traditional art space mm -hmm. because there is uh really much competition mm -hmm. like because it's already uh how can I say it? Yeah. yeah and uh you really need to fight for mm -hmm. your place mm -hmm. um what's also in in nfts but mm -hmm. uh the people are much more likely to help and to yeah. to help set things up and mm -hmm. yeah everything like that so you've worked on a lot of projects and obviously you know one of your projects is is the mines project people probably know you were wearing the hat for mines so like it's a really a really awesome uh project and uh i think you have over a thousand ETH in in sales already on this so like to a lot of people that's already a big definition of success if they're talking about like ETH sales, but you talk a lot about community. And one thing that I've noticed is the community, well, everybody talks about community, right? Mm -hmm. But like to actually create a community and, and get people involved and behind you and, and, and care so much, was there a moment, was there a point in your journey so far, even if it's a small, you know, a, a young journey right now from, you said you got in this in February, right? It's not even a year. But was there a point in, in this in this year where you said, OK, this is for me, this is something that uh, I can I can stick with and and 
uh, really inspired you to, to stay with it and, and keep building what you've built? It was already happening before the Minds project. Mm -hmm. So I, um, in the NFT space, I sold some uh, physical paintings as well okay. as, as um, NFTs, but not the physical painting included, just the, the NFT itself. Right. And then I realized that I really like to focus on digital art mm -hmm. um, for the NFT space. So there are values on both sides at the end. So if you like to have a painting, then you need to go the traditional way. And if you like to have a, a digital art piece, then it, you go to the, to the NFT space. Um, yeah, for, for me, the community, they helped a lot with, with all kinds of inspirations mm -hmm. and motivations as well. So in time, uh, like maybe after two or three months, I realized that I really need to care about not only building the community, but with, because with social media, everything is spreading. Mm -hmm. So I decided to make a discord for just my community, mm -hmm. which is like more close together. And, um, yeah, I, I appreciate that. And, mm -hmm. uh, it gives really much power because you have, uh, people who are believe in you and your mm -hmm. art and always be there and, uh, have new ideas coming up and yeah. that's, that's really awesome. That's great. So, I mean, when I, when I first got exposed to, to your, um, your, your work and your NFTs, you know, I would see you everywhere, everywhere. I would see people sharing, yeah, sharing your work everywhere across social media. And then I, you know, was in your discord and realized, wow, you've got thousands of people in here who are really, you know, they're really popping off and like really supportive. And I was like, there's obviously a massive team behind this. <laughs> and when, when I got to know a little bit more about, about what you're doing, I'm having a hard time understanding where you find time to do what, to do everything that you're doing. Um, and, and do you have, do you have advice for people that, you know, are getting into this space? Do you feel a little pressure to kind of keep that pace going? Um, and what are the things that you're doing to kind of keep, um, keep everything rolling? Because you've got, you've got thousands of people in discord, thousands across social media, you got a family, uh, you got kids, right? Yeah, yeah two. <laughs> you got two kids and, uh, you know, and you've got a, a, a job uh, as yeah. a graphic designer still that you, uh, so, so maybe, maybe you can explain a little bit, like what keeps, what keeps you going? It's a special gift, I guess I have, uh -huh. um, being inspired and motivated. That's, there is, I need less energy than normal. Okay. So I, I have more energy to, to put out for for what I like to reach and mm -hmm. um, coming to the NFT space, it was pressured in the beginning. Mm -hmm. It was a lot. So like with the family and I already was feeling it with the day job I have, it's 60% as a graphic designer yeah. working for a guys agency. So I guess that that agency now uh, has has a higher level of uh, awareness in the space as well. If, yeah. If... At one point where I really was feeling there is less just not enough time for everything um i was asking my agency if, if if it's possible to make my combining my nft journey with with my job because i don't like to leave my job because yeah. i really appreciate all these people around me That's and true to, to work alone as a artist is really mm -hmm. it's not that funny anymore mm -hmm. so i really like the conversations at work and uh, also having different projects to focus on so i bring it into my bring it into my um, agency as well and they told me yes uh, we can we can combine this together and now uh, they ha they helped me a lot with the mind minds website mm -hmm. like with the whole branding we ma made everything together the whole story and uh, yeah that that helps a lot. So maybe you can talk a little bit about the challenges that you see like going forward. Now you've reached just a certain level of success and awareness in this space. Um, what's, what are you looking forward to for the future in this space? And like, what is exciting you about NFTs, about blockchain technology? Um, what, where, what are the conversations that you're having that uh, that you see potential for the future for, for what you're doing? 
I and we should really think about how we can onboard much more people mm -hmm. like just because it's not that hard I'm really not a technical tech guy so mm -hmm. even blockchain is for me like really based stuff which I know and everything else I mm -hmm. don't even care too much mm -hmm. um it's only because I don't get it yeah it's my my artistic brain does not let through too many technical stuff um and this is why i did it from myself with yeah. some information so everybody can do that yeah. it's really no problem mm -hmm. to set a wallet up mm -hmm. or something like that mm -hmm. setting up uh, an account to sell your nfts mm -hmm. knowing what you do what to do um i think that's a really big thing i like to focus on in maybe the next year to help first some artists I know, which are friends, mm -hmm. and also collector side mm -hmm. um, people I know from the crypto space, mm -hmm. which I already taught in the beginning, but they maybe was not listening. Maybe they yeah. listen now yeah. when I uh, when they see what I did in the in the last year. Me as a Swiss artist, um, there is not much opportunity to get out uh, in the whole like. Mm -hmm. in the world mm -hmm. to get noticed mm -hmm. you really have to move as, as with physical art you have to move to new york mm -hmm. to to miami whatever like paris etc the mm -hmm. big the big cities and uh, still having mm -hmm. uh, a lot to Challenge. do till till you to reach your your goal and um with the nft space and the decentral uh, space it's really a bigger opportunity to get together do you feel a responsibility to bring people into this space i mean now uh, with a, a bit of a name in the space do you, do you feel responsible you know responsible to to you know onboard people into here and and what do you think about the you know the, the topic of we're really entering kind of a new renaissance for for art i mean you come from the traditional art world do you see any parallels with uh digital art and and what you know blockchain technology and nfts are enabling for artists do you really think that this has the uh, the full real potential to uh you know to onboard a lot of people and and to you know be a a medium for uh for ideas right and uh really showcasing new new pieces of, of work like a new renaissance what do you think about that I think it's it's possible to onboard uh, and people are when they get in they are excited about it and they like to learn more and uh, I think it's only the security which is sometimes uh, like just a block which you need to go through and mm -hmm. maybe you also need to realize that uh, there is money involved there needs mm -hmm. to be security and right. you really need to care about this stuff and this maybe people get scared about it a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, but overall, I'm, I think this is here to stay. Mm -hmm. So this space is here to stay. It's maybe not everything which is created right now. Um, so you really have to focus on what you believe from the projects you, you um, collect or invest mm -hmm. in and maybe ha have a deeper look before you just collect something. Mm -hmm. Um, we are still like it's it's always funny with the yeah. uh, utility aspect and mm -hmm. uh, like now every project has utility behind it and needs to have it's still art like yeah. I still sell art, art. Yeah. I, I don't sell like just profile pictures right. that's not 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 my meaning of, mm -hmm. of uh, creating mm -hmm. for me art is like creating mm -hmm. it's not the piece itself mm -hmm. and if people connect with the art uh, that's my biggest goal I, I have it's not only selling the art it's yeah. like more the connection to also inspire others because now many artists are collectors mm -hmm. then you can inspire the, the collector as well because he's an artist so it's a really different thing yeah. and um yeah the, the technology makes many things possible right so do you see the technology also playing a part in in your art in the future perhaps like uh, using some of the utility of certain blockchains. I know a lot of your stuff is on Ethereum, but perhaps uh, you're interested in, in, in doing things on other chains. Uh, but do you see that being maybe also a, an avenue to explore 
what would even be possible for for your artwork? Have you thought about that? Yeah, uh, exploring different things mm -hmm. like um, maybe access to private private events or something. Mm -hmm. If we mm -hmm. really look uh, forward to maybe, or if the art can change years. over time. On the yeah, blockchain. that's also yeah, that's. It's it's a really special thing. Yeah. I, I really like it. Yeah. I was not understanding it in the mm -hmm. beginning, but uh, as more I get into the space, mm -hmm. I I really like these opportunities to make something really special. Mm -hmm. You also can just um, make a a hunting over the whole world where mm -hmm. you like just put NFTs or QR codes of wallets, whatever, mm -hmm. like into different cities and people need to find this and okay. you, there is so many possibilities because you can't hang up a picasso and you hope ne nobody right. gets it but you can hang up a qr code <laughs> that's that's not the like a sticker with the qr code mm -hmm. where you find the nft in yeah. it or or something like that that's it uh, yeah the the opportunities are big and uh, inspiration is here so cool. also like having the community which you built to i don't like to call it a dao but mm -hmm. um it's something like that so if you it's great that you're talking about that though yeah. because i know that that's a that, that's a challenge for a lot of people and people are talking about daos and like uh now that you built up a community why not reward the community itself by creating a dao yeah. and, uh but there's a lot of legal things that's <clears throat> super unsure still around DAO structures and how you reward people yeah. and that. So, but you're thinking about that. Those are the conversations you're having. Yeah, the conversations are here. Yeah. Um, I think it's good to build something where the community can make decisions. Yeah. It does not have to be valuable from like having um, a backup with with funds or something. Right. Much more. The funds are here. Yeah. And the community is here, and we can decide where to, to go like set um investing in new upcoming artists which right. having problem even to to mint something because in some countries that's really much money yeah in, in some other countries right. that's okay right. to, to spend 100 bucks but in in other countries yeah. that's uh life-changing yeah. and uh yeah i really like to focus on stuff like that which that's is uh, building the space more and more and not not only from the value of of the art itself like that's great so it, it's great to hear you thinking along these terms and like obviously the, the community is really behind you and i think one of the biggest reasons why they are is because you give back to the community and talking about things like what you just described you know trying to find ways to to support other artists that are coming into the space that might not have what you have or what other artists have um, and are maybe underprivileged and bringing them into the space and, and creating life-changing opportunities that's that's super exciting for for the technology it's super exciting what you're doing um so obviously you know it, it, it's clear that you're here to stay as long as you want to be right so uh really appreciate your energy in the space uh thanks a lot for taking the time to talk with us uh for la no blockchain summit and um yeah looking forward to seeing where this goes for you uh obviously the the future is extremely bright um so so all the best to you dario and and, and thanks a lot Thank you, Joe. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Cool.